Hello everyone, uh, this is a question and uh, this is my March 2022 manga haul video. Uh, I got about 150 volumes this month, uh, so quite a big haul. Um, I usually try to have about half this, but, uh, but yeah, this was just a huge month uh, with a ton of stuff I couldn't pass up on. Um, I just wanted to, to come on and kind of say everything, say before the haul, uh, thanks everyone who subscribed. I've, I've been doing this for about six or seven months and I've just now, uh, I'm almost at 300 subscribers. Uh, so thank you if you've subscribed, thank you if you've left comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my videos, please subscribe um, and uh, leave comments. You know, if you have recommendations, if you have thoughts about my videos, stuff I picked up, let me know. Um, and then I've said this a couple months ago, but I just kind of wanted to reiterate it. Um, you know, definitely if you are a manga collector, don't watch manga videos or or see people's hauls on Reddit and feel like you, you've you got to match uh, what other people are doing. Um, people are at different po points in their life, uh, different uh, different amounts of money, different budgets, um, different ages. Uh, you know, I'm in my 40s, manga collecting and reading is my main hobby, um, so I'm not going broke uh, buying and collecting manga. So uh, your hobby should be fun and enjoyable, don't get stressed out. Uh, don't buy more than you can afford um, and go broke, you know, not being able to pay your your, your tuition, your your rent, your, your mortgage, your bills, um, buying manga. So, um, you know, just everyone, just be smart with your money out there. You know, I know it's tough. Um, I've, I've, in my younger years, have, have been done with money, um, wasting money on video games, you know, stuff I couldn't afford. Um, but it's one of those things that, um, that as you get older, you kind of learn that you need to make sure all your bills and, and savings are, are set up first um, and then start and then spend your money on your hobbies and other things you enjoy. Um, so yeah, so just kind of wanted to say that. Um, like I said before, thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and uh, get into the haul. Okay, so I'm going to start with Right Stuff. Um, I actually didn't get a single package from Right Stuff in the month, month of March. Um, all these uh, books that I got here actually came on the very last day of February um, and I had already filmed my February video. Um, I wasn't expecting these to come um, before before the end of the month. So um, yeah, Right Stuff must be very backed up. I have at least probably 80 volumes worth of stuff from Right Stuff, either pre-orders that were from the month of March or sales stuff that is in stock. Um, and they have not sent me out a package at all in the month of March. So um, pretty disappointing because there's lots of stuff in that in those pre-orders that I actually wanted to read. Um, but here's everything I did get. So I'm going to start with the pre-orders. Uh, we have Mashal, Magic and Muscles, Volume 5. We have Free Run, Beyond Journey's End, Volume 3. I did read Volume 1 of this just to make sure I was going to enjoy it and I loved it. So... Um, I'm going to wait until a bunch of them are out before I continue, but I did enjoy Volume 1. We have The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again Today, Volume 3. I read through, I think, the first two volumes, um, and it's a great series. Definitely recommend this. Um, kind of show you what it looks like. Um, it's got some cute artwork. It's just a really kind of heartwarming uh, story. Um, really enjoy this. We have Kageki Shoujo Volume 4. I still have not started reading this series. We have Skip and Loafer Volume 3. I actually don't remember if this is a new release or if this had been out for a while. I did get, I think, volumes. Yeah, I have volumes 1 and 2 that I got last month. Like, this might just be a, a, new, a newer volume. We have... Platinum End Volume 14, which is the final volume. This is a awesome cover. Probably one of my favorite covers that I own. I really like the kind of holographic uh, look to it. And then the colors. Um, as you can see, final volume. Uh, this one had been... Uh, there had been a, a huge amount of time passing between Volume 13 and 14. Um, so now that I have the whole series, I'm looking forward to checking this out. I love Death Note. Um, but I haven't really read anything else other than a few volumes of Bakuman a long, long time ago. So looking forward to checking that out. We have The Witch and the Beast Volume 8, a very underappreciated series. Um, this is a really good one. 
Um, another one, some really nice artwork. Really good story. Uh, the two main characters are great. Looking forward to reading that. We have Golden, I'm gonna say Camway, volume 25. Um, if you were, know from my past hauls, I have the first 24 volumes and I had not started reading it. Um, I got most of them from one person, um, but I did actually read volume one last month um, just to make sure I was gonna enjoy it and I did enjoy it also. So uh, I think I'm gonna hold out until it's all the way released and then kind of binge it. But, uh, but yeah, volume one I did enjoy. We have Hakumi and Makochi Volume 9. Um, I had gotten the, uh, I think, volumes, most of them through in stock trades. Um, still haven't started reading this series, but, uh, but I mean, this is, I mean, this is really cute artwork. I can't wait to check this series out. And the last pre-order was Came the Mirror and Other Tales by Rumiko Takahashi. Uh, this is a short story collection um, that just came out. And I'm looking forward to reading this. And that was all of the pre-orders. Okay, and for the other stuff, this is either stuff that was on sales or just stuff I picked up from Right Stuff. Uh, starting off, we have I Had That Same Dream Again, the complete manga collection. I've heard good things about this. This is a one shot. Uh, this is like an omnibus release of, I think a couple volumes. Um, but yeah, looking forward to checking that out. We have Daytime Shooting Star Volume One. I think I added this to an order. Um, I had found Volume Three at a used place and uh, this was a, a series I was looking to start checking out. We have Cheeky Brat Volume 2. Um, I did check out Volume 1, uh, or I did read through Volume 1, and uh, I enjoyed it. I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it enough to continue, so I have Volume 2 here. And then this series has been recommended a lot um, when wanting to check it out, and there was a sale for all of the Omnibus Volumes, and that is Blue Giant. So I picked up uh, volume uh, all the available volumes. So we got this one here is Omnibus 1-2. And as you can see, really nice artwork. There we go. We have three, four. We have five, six. And then we have seven, eight. And that was everything that had been released. Nine, 10 was also part of the sale, which I think just came out. Um, and I think that's the final volume of uh, this series. I, I, I know there's some sequel series in Japan, um, but I don't think we've gotten word if we're getting those yet. I assume so, because I think this is a fairly popular series. And then we have another series that I've been meaning to pick up. We have I Think Our Son is Gay, volume one, and then I got volume two. I think that's all that's out um, is just volume one and two. Um, this is by Square Enix. And then they sent me a couple volumes of Blue Period that I had ordered a long time ago. So we have volumes one they got back in stock and then volumes three. So now I have one through five. Now we got some hardcovers. We have Erased volume three. Um, I was missing volumes three and four. They had been out of stock for a long time. They finally came back into stock months like almost a month or two ago from at Amazon and Barnes and Noble and I had already had these ordered from Right Stuff so it took so long for Right Stuff to actually get them in stock that I almost canceled this and just bought them from Amazon um, because I wanted to make sure I was actually going to be able to get them uh, but they did finally get back in stock and they sent them to me so I have volume three and then volume four the covers a little you can see it's kind of got some crinkles there on this cover. Um, and even though it says final on the cover, there is actually a volume five, which I have, which is like kind of a smaller follow-up volume. So now I have uh, the five volumes of that. We have Devil Man, the classic collection volume one. This I got in a sale months ago, or this I ordered in, uh, that was in on sale months ago from Right Stuff. And they just now got this in stock. It was, there was both volumes uh, were on the sale and um, 
and they just this one just came to me in my last uh, haul I'm looking forward to checking this out I have not read any devil man before one of the few animes I watched I did watch the devil man crybaby anime when it came out on Netflix and I and I really enjoyed it we've got two more fetal <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Editions. Um, these I had ordered, same thing, back during the holiday sale. Uh, so I, they sent me, I only have a few left to go. So we've got volume five here. And then we've got volume three. So I think that, that looks like all other than 14 and 15. So I've got, I can actually start reading it now. Okay, and these next two books, um, I've seen these two mentioned by uh, one of the very first manga YouTubers I ever started following, uh, Archangel Manga. Uh, he has a lot of um, kind of lesser known and older series. Um, he's, you know, he's, if you're looking for, for kind of finding kind of the, the off the wall stuff, he's got a lot of, he shows off a lot of that stuff in his collection. And he's talked about this series a lot, and it's always in the background of his hauls or his collection videos and so I knew I wanted to get it. They did actually have two of the hardcovers in stock at Right Stuff, volumes two and three. One is either out of print um, or just out of stock, um, but they did have volumes two and three in stock. And this is a giant uh, Yen Press hardcover. Show you some of the artwork here. Some really nice quality pages. Page quality, it's glossy. And I don't know too much about this series other than I know they're they either just released a Netflix series or it's uh, or it's uh, on its way. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to checking this series out. Um, like I said, heavily praised. We've got volume two. And then we've got volume three. So Right Stuff does have these two in stock, at least currently. Um, yeah, can't wait to check the series out. And that was everything from Right Stuff. Okay, and the last thing I got uh, from Right Stuff, uh, they sent me box set three of One Piece. Uh, like I mentioned in my last haul, um, I got volume four. I just kind of on a whim said, okay, I want to start reading One Piece. Um, I had read some of the Omnibus volumes when they very first came out and really enjoyed it. Um, and this is a series that kind of was intimidating with all the volumes. So I decided to uh, kind of start grabbing the box sets. Um, so I had a birthday coupon from Right Stuff and uh, with my discount, most of the box sets ended up being like 130, 135 a piece, uh, which is really good price. So they sent me volume three, and then last month they sent me volume four. Uh, so now I just have volumes one and two, um, and then I'll be able to read, uh, start giving One Piece uh, a more a more detailed chance um, and see if I'll enjoy it. Um, worst case, I mean, people love One Piece. Worst case, I'll be able to, to pass them along to someone else if I end up not enjoying it, um, but glad to finally get uh, this box set here. Okay, so next is what I've got from In Stock Trades. Uh, this will probably be my last In Stock Trades order. Uh, the shipping, the amount of time it takes for them to ship stuff has gotten completely ridiculous lately. Their customer service was terrible when I've dealt with them. Um, so this will probably be my last order. Um, I ordered about 20 bucks right about the beginning of February. It is now the end of March and I've only received eight of those books and these are in stock books, not pre-orders. Um, it took them a month to send me eight of the books, and then I've reached out to them twice to ask them what's going on with the other books, and they really have no answer other than, oh, we haven't picked them yet, you know, sorry, is, is basically what they're telling me. Um, so, so yeah, so I don't, it shouldn't take two months for you guys to ship out um, books that are available in your warehouse. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so I won't be placing any more orders for in-stock trades. Um, but here's what they did sh uh, ship me. Um, I ordered volumes one through three of Carol and Tuesday. Uh, this is a series that I've wanted to pick up for a while. Um, and they've sent me one and three. They have not sent me volume two. 
They I ordered all of the volumes of Ran in the Gray World that they had in stock. So I think it was all but one. And they only sent me volumes five, volume six, and volume seven. This is a really thick volume. I think this is the final one. Yes, final volume. I ordered, I think maybe eight or so volumes of B-Stars that I didn't have, and they sent me, looks like a few here. Um, so we have volume 14, volume 16, and volume 13. So they sent me three volumes of B-Stars, and then the one volume of Beast Complex that is out. Um, so yeah, so that's everything I got from Instark Trades. Like I said, all once this last, who knows when they're gonna ship me my last one, um, that'll be it for them. Um, but that is everything they shipped me this month. And next we have a Libris. So I don't think I've ordered from a Libris before. I, I kind of, I went to the website back when I very first started collecting manga, because I heard someone mention it. I added some books to my cart and the shipping was like 30 or $40. So I was like, why are people recommending this site? Uh, once I actually spent some time on the site, I realized that it's kind of like Amazon where there's third party sellers and then there's actual Alibris. So if you check the little box on the side where it says just uh, just through Alibris, um, then you get free shipping once you hit a certain, a certain threshold. I think it's $50. Um, but yeah, so that's what you want to do if you want to, you know, get free shipping, use their codes, all that stuff. Um, and then you don't use third party sellers. So it's not coming from a bunch of different places. Um, and that's how you get free shipping. So I went a little crazy at Alibris. Um, they had some really good prices. Like their prices on a lot of volumes uh, were lower than right stuff. Um, so I picked up a lot of stuff that I've been meaning to get it, to get. Uh, a series that I want to collect this year is Yotsuba. Uh, so I picked up the volumes. I only had one volume of this already. Um, and that was volume three. So I grabbed volume one, volume two. So I pretty much just grabbed everything that was in stock. Um, and all these came out, I think the only disappointing thing, the shipping on this one here, the back cover is all bent. Um, some of the shipping on these Alibris ones, they ship them in kind of this folded over cardboard where the sides are almost open. Like you can kind of slide your hands in and touch the books even when it's closed. Um, and, and it was so loose that some of the books were like sliding inside the other books. So thankfully this is the only one that really had damage and it has this bent cover here. So I might replace it at some point. We have volume seven, volume eight, Volume 11, Volume 14, Volume 15. So that was all the Yotsuba that they had in stock. I grabbed all of those. And another series that was on my goal list to collect for this year, um, I think I mentioned it in my last video, was Ajin. Uh, Demi Human. I only had volumes one and two, so I grabbed everything they had in stock at Alibris. So we have volume three. And I think most of these were like seven dollars, so not too bad. We have volume four. We have six. We have nine. We have ten. We have 14, we have 15, we have 16, and then the final volume, volume 17. So I've got, I think about two thirds now, so not too bad. Then I also threw on a random I Am A Hero volume. This is Omnibus 8, so now I have four of these volumes. Slowly getting all those. We've got a series that I've been slowly collecting also. We have Go With The Clouds, North by Northwest. They had volumes three, four, and five. And I already had volumes one and two. 
And this is by the same creator as uh, Ran in the Gray World. So, um, as you can see, very nice artwork in both series. And the one volume that In Stock Trades didn't have of Ran in the Gray World, volume one, I did order from Alibris, which I would have ordered the whole series from them. Um, we've got My Boy, volume one. Uh, if you remember from my last haul, I got a couple volumes of this from uh, Cheap Manga, the website. Um, so I needed the first couple volumes. So they had, Alibris had one and two, which I grabbed. We've got a couple volumes of Beastars. We've got volume seven. Slowly getting all of this series. We've got 10. And volume 12. And we've got two volumes of Living Stone. So I already had volume one of this and I got volumes two and volume four. So I'm still missing three. And this is from the creator of Dead Man Wonderland, another series harder to find. Uh, I have, I'd like to get that at some point. And then the last one, we've got Moriarty the Patriot number two. So I already had uh, volume one and four of this series. Um, still have not read it, um, but I threw in a random volume. And that was it from Libris. Okay, so this next bunch is gonna be from Barnes and Noble. Um, these I got, uh, I've been picking up these reprints when they've been coming out. Um, that is for the series Nana. So volumes three through five recently got reprinted. So I grabbed those. We got four and then we've got five. So in the last few months they've reprinted one through five and then 21 was in stock already. So I now have one through five and volume 21. We've got two volumes of BL Metamorphosis that they had in stock at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I already had three and five, um, so they had two and four, so then I'm just missing one. But spoiler, you'll see that later on. And then I also grabbed uh, the two omnibus volumes of That Wolf Boy Is Mine. Uh, this is by the same creator of Love and Focus, uh, a series I enjoyed, so I figured I'd, I'd check this one out. Um, yeah, so there's two of these Omnibus editions. That's the first one, and that's the second one. So that's everything I grabbed from Barnes & Noble. And now here we got some volumes from some local used um, stores, local bookstores, um, and media stores that I picked stuff up from. So we have a volume one of Hina Matsuri. Um, I've been wanting to get this series. They unfortunately only had volume one. I definitely would have picked up more of this. Um, this was used, so I'll get one of that. I got two volumes of Beauty and the Beast of Paradise Lost. Um, this series didn't look like something I would want, um, but I think Manga Sloth had mentioned it um, in one of his videos. Um, and it looked like um, his review of it made me a little more interested. So they had volumes two and three, which I grabbed. And they had one volume of Arakawa Under the Bridge. Uh, this is a vertical book that uh, I've wanted to start collecting. Um, once again, only one volume. I wish they would have had more. Uh, these are more expensive volumes, so getting them used was nice. This is These are normally $17.95. And then they had, it looked like a whole bunch, like one person must have traded in a bunch of stuff um, because they all had these plastic kind of sleeves that they had wrapped all their books in. Um, but, um, and so there was a ton of stuff, but most of it was stuff that I didn't really have any interest in. Um, but they did have a few things um, that, I, that I picked up. So I picked up this Omnibus One. Um, I, I don't know how to pronounce this, XXXHolic. Uh, by Clamp. I don't know too much about this series other than I've heard good things about it. Um, I really didn't know, like, I was like, oh, this is, you know, I didn't realize there's a ton of these omnibuses, so I didn't, and they only had one, so I don't know if I'm going to continue unless I really enjoy this series, um, but I did grab the first one. And then they had this series, which I, I don't even know if I'd heard of this series before, 
Um, but it's only a three volume series and it's got a fairly good reviews on Goodreads, so I picked it up. Uh, it's a Witch's Love at the End of the World. We got volume one. This is a Yen Press book. Like I said, it's in these kind of plastic desk jacket or kind of like sleeves that this person put them in. Got volume two. And then volume three, the final volume. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, I picked up the first omnibus of High Rise Invasion. Another one, I don't know too much about this, um, but I see it in people's collections and they had this one volume for like half the price uh, used, so I grabbed it. This one I kind of don't know why I picked up, but I did. Um, I didn't even realize this was a spinoff of another series, so I picked up this series. Um, I knew there was a series called Read or Die. Uh, I didn't realize this one is like, I thought this was that series. This is a spinoff of that or a sequel series uh, called Read or Dream. And um, they had four volumes. I think this is a completed, yes, this is a completed series. Um, this is an older Viz Media series. Um, but I don't know too much about it. These volumes, I think, were like $5 a piece. Um, so I got the, the four volumes they had of that. Figure I'd give it a shot. Worst case, I don't like it. I can always sell it off. And volume four. It, it seems interesting. Reader Dream, We Are Paper Sister Detective Company. I mean, come on. That sounds very weird. So I'll give this a shot. And it says right there, eagerly awaited follow-up to the hit series Read or Die. Hopefully I don't need to have read Read or Die to check this out. And then I got one bundle of books from eBay. Um, and that is a series that um, is an older series out of print. Um, I don't really find it locally or anywhere, so I had to pick it up from eBay. And that is I'll Give It My All Tomorrow by Shinju Aono. Um, this is a... A shorter series. Um, some of the artwork. But yeah, this it kind of reminds me, it kind of gives me similar vibes to Saturn Apartments. Um, so we got volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four. And volume five. And this one, this series is out of print, but it's not crazy expensive. I think I paid like 50 bucks for this whole set. Um, there's a ding there, you know, they weren't in like perfect condition. Um, but this is the final chapter. Um, I'm looking forward to reading this series. And that was everything from used stores and eBay. Okay, and next we're going to go through some Amazon stuff I picked up. Um, so first we have the first hardcover of Therma, Therme Rome, I'm going to say is, um, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, so this one, the only place I could find this was, uh, at a decent price was from a third party seller on Amazon. Um, so I did pay more than retail for this volume, less than retail for two and three. So I basically kind of evened out to where I was, I paid retail for all three of them, which isn't bad since this one's out of print. Um, this one, the slip cover is kind of clear. The other ones didn't have a, a dust jacket like this one has. But yeah, another really... It's kind of got the same type of paper that was in the Sailor Moon Eternal editions. It's got the same kind of paper quality. So there's that. I picked up this book. Um, I had not heard of this book, Heaven's Door. Someone posted on Reddit um, that this book was in stock. Um, and so I grabbed it. Um, I have never read anything by this creator. Um, I think this might be the only thing that's, uh, yeah, his first full-length book published in English, a drug in paper form. So this, uh, a sci-fi manga collection of psychedelic short stories by Keiichi Koiki. Um, and this is a last gasp release. Uh, it was available on their website, but they also had it in stock on Amazon. 
Um, so I picked it up from them. Um, looking forward to checking that out. I got one more volume of Reel for basically retail. Um, this was from a third party seller, volume nine. So I'm still missing um, probably half of the series that is out of print or out of stock. Um, but I was able to find nine for a decent price. And then I grabbed a bunch of books from Hiro Taniguchi um, that I didn't have that I've been wanting to grab. Um, so we have The Quest for the Missing Girl. Uh, these are all released by Fanfare. Um, we have The Walking Man Extended Ed Expanded Edition, which is a hardcover. I think they originally released this. Um, and then this expanded one has extra stuff. It says here with full color pages restored and reading in the original Japanese sense. I assume it was reversed um, before. We have Ferrari, um, another one by Fanfare. And then I got the two volumes of the Summit of the Gods that I didn't have, um, volumes four and volume five. I had one through three. And then this book I actually didn't know about until I saw someone was selling like a collector's edition of this. Um, and then I found out that this book even existed. Um, this book is called Venice um, by Hiro Taniguchi. Um, there's like a special edition one that's like a hundred and something dollars. It's like a hardcover, um, but I didn't go for that. I just went ahead and grabbed this one from Amazon. Um, and this is kind of a travel journal about Venice. Uh, it's in full color, uh, not a lot of dialogue, um, more just some really great artwork of the, author, of the, the artist exploring Venice. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, so there we go. Okay, and then I got a couple more books from Amazon. These these showed up uh, right right when I was about to start uh, finishing the video. So threw those in. Um, we have Ajin uh, Demi Human Volume Seven. Um, everything else from this series uh, is was back in stock at Right Stuff. So I placed an order for everything um, that I was still missing. Uh, the only thing they didn't have in stock was Volume Seven, so I ordered that from Amazon. And then these two books um, I've had on my wish list for a long time. Uh, it's just taken me forever to actually bite the bullet and purchase them. And that is Message to Adolf by Osama Tezuka. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I've been getting a ton of Tezuka books. Um, and I actually haven't read too much of his stuff. So uh, that's actually going to be my goal for April is I'm pretty much going to dedicate all of April just to reading Tezuka books. Um, and trying to read through some of his stuff. And this is one of his, um, kind of one of the ones I hear talked about the most in the manga YouTube community is this series. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up. Um, I got these from third, from a third party seller. Um, they were less, they were almost half price, a little bit more than half price. Um, like this one's got a little ding in the corner. Uh, they do have a remainder mark on the back and then the, the paper is a little dirty. Um, but otherwise in good condition, uh, I'm looking forward to checking this book out. Um, so we've got part one and then we also have part two and you'll see, I've seen this, these spines here in tons of uh, manga, manga YouTubers collection videos. So um, it'll be nice to have those in my uh, videos now. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed those two volumes and that was it for Amazon. Okay, next up we have a pickup from Makari. Uh, this is a series that I've had recommended to me multiple times and I see it in, in lots of recommended videos on YouTube. Um, and it's a shorter series. It is called Girls Last Tour. Uh, someone was selling all six volumes uh, for less than retail. They came, they were in good quality, they're in good shape. Uh, I'm really looking forward to checking this series out. Um, this is a Yen Press series. Show off some of the art here. 
So yeah, so volume one, we've got volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, and then the final volume of volume six. So that is all of uh, Girls Last Tour. Looking forward, like I said, looking forward to checking this out. Um, heard nothing but praise, um, and that was a good pickup from Makari. Okay, so next is uh, stuff I got from Reddit Swaps. I went a little crazy on Reddit Swaps this month. Um, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't gone to Reddit and gone to the manga community, um, it's a great place to get deals. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of great stuff there for sale. You can find lots of older, rarer stuff. Um, and it's a good place to get rid of stuff also. Uh, when I didn't care for Grand Blue Dreaming, I went ahead and sold my volumes on that site. Uh, same thing with Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, it's a great place to, to, uh, to swap and, and buy, sell, trade, um, manga. Uh, so here's everything I got from them for the month of March. Uh, so first we have BL Metamorphosis Volume 1. This is the final volume I needed. Uh, another manga YouTuber, Prof Otaku. Um, he makes great videos, great content. Definitely check him out if you haven't. Um, he accidentally got two copies of this, so he was selling one off. And I swooped in and grabbed it because this is the one that I needed. Um, so now I have all of this series to read. And then we've got, um, I picked up another Tezuka series. Uh, this one is not that pricey. This is not like a super rare series, um, but it has a lot of volumes and I just hadn't picked it up. Um, and someone was selling it for a good price and that is Buddha. So I picked up uh, all eight. Um, these are all, these are the soft covers. There is hard covers um, that are way out of print and way expensive, uh, but these are soft covers. Um, so we got volume one. We have a volume two, and these are all in really great condition. Volume three. Volume four. Volume five. And I don't know too much about this series other than it's, uh, you know, obviously about Buddha. Um, I assume it goes through his life. Um, I have seen some some people's thoughts about it, where they mentioned that it was a little more comedic than they were expecting, um, and you know, so I going in here kind of fresh. Um, this I might throw. This I might be might be one of the series that I read through um, in April, but we'll see. So I got all eight volumes of Buddha, and then lastly, uh, this is another series that's been on my want list for a while. Um, and someone was selling it. Um, this is an out of print series, not likely to come back in print. Um, so I went ahead and bit the bullet and grabbed it. Um, and they were all in really great condition. And that is, uh, I think it's pronounced Twin Spica, I'm going to say. I don't, I don't, Twin Spica or ten, Twin Spica, I'm going to say Spica. Um, so yeah, I've heard nothing. This is another one I've heard nothing but great things about. Uh, really looking forward to checking this book out. Um, it is a vertical release um, that is out of print. And as you can see. So yeah, so I got the complete series of this. So we have volume one, volume two, Three, volume four, volume five, so some really great covers, six, and they start getting a little thicker once we've now hit volume seven, these are almost like double the thickness of the previous ones. Eight, 
10. 11. Now we're getting even more thick. And then the final volume, volume 12, which is the thickest of them all. Um, so yeah, I got all 12 volumes of this series. Um, if you've read this, um, if this, you think this is something I should prioritize, like I mentioned, I'm going to do Tezuka for April. Um, but in May, um, you know, I'm going to be wide open. I might go, um, this might be one of the series that I decide to check out, uh, in the month of May. Um, but yeah, that was everything I got from Reddit. A uh, ton of great stuff. Can't wait to read this stuff. Okay. So this is everything, um, barely fits on this table here. Uh, this is everything I picked up in the month of March, uh, right about 150 volumes counting the one piece box set. Um, definitely need to go a little slower next month. Hopefully I'm not more than half this, um, so I can start catching up on my reading. Uh, if there's anything in the comments, go ahead and let me know if there's anything you think I should prioritize as far as Tezuka for my month of April. Um, if, if you've seen any of my past videos, you'll know the, the stuff I have. I have the majority of his, uh, of his works, um, that are in print. Um, so if there's something you think I should prioritize, let me know. Um, otherwise everyone stay safe out there and, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.